Thirty Pieces of Silver by Cornelia Parker. That old miracle of levitation. And lo, they rise up, free from that crushing weight at the last, resurrected. Relief, Judas, sweet relief. Who would have thought you would find it here, hidden among these degrading reminders? These precious things, and they were so prized, treasured possessions, handled with care, and completely sold out, to be mocked and wounded, flattened. I suppose it's worth it, the destruction of something beautiful, the guilty purchase, return invalid without a receipt, damaged items are non-refundable. Weight transforms you, as you would know. Chokes, as you choke. How useless are you now? Shallow shadow of a candlestick. Dish, it will hold no water. The silver spoon, wrenched from the teeth. Each piece, and it must be a fair ransom here, each piece of silver arranged into 30 silver discs raised slightly above the ground, as if in sympathy with him, broken as they are, all use eroded, intent, betrayed. They were desecrated. These bodies, they've been maimed, Judas, crushed, crucified for you. They need to be saved, Judas. Kiss better, that humble touch of love. Silver is commemorative, it keeps its secrets. Like a phoenix, it burns bright, dissolving, and sheds its form for a shining new life. It's a long way down into the flames, but unlike you, it'll rise again, and it never forgets. It might be changed, beaten and seared, melted and peeled, forged and recast, but it still remembers the faded memory of fingerprints of simply changing hands. It knows. It knows. Silver is commemorative. Then guilt is sticky. You think you've got rid of something, and then there it is! Reborn! Transformed! What you bought with the coins that they gave you was perhaps more than you bargained for. They knew they had bought a man's life. Did you know you'd be buying rope? That weight. Each coin. Chink. Chink. That weight, the price of two lives. 